Starting tomorrow, the new restrictions put in place by Governor Bullock go into effect. Joey Taylor is in Great Falls, where businesses are gearing up for the holiday season, all while preparing to see even more changes come their way because of the pandemic. I spoke with Shane Etzweiler with the Great Falls Area Chamber of Commerce, and he says closing at 10 p.m. and limiting capacity will hurt our bars, restaurants, and casinos the most, but it will impact everyone. So really, it doesn't matter what business or what industry, it is going to, again, be a tough challenge, especially a challenge during this upcoming holiday season. This pandemic may have been the tipping point for many businesses struggling to stay open, but Great Falls has been strong throughout the pandemic, adapting and overcoming every change that's come their way. During this pandemic, I think we've seen some real resiliency in the Great Falls economy as well, too. I think we've seen a lot of businesses take it and I'll just say take the punch and then roll with it and then what are we going to do going forward. The governor's order has no end date, but things could change when the new administration comes in. So it's really anyone's guess as to how long this will last or if the restrictions will change. In the meantime, Etzweiler says he's seen more stores open up online and use social media as a platform for consumers. We have an opportunity now to say, all right, we are not going to go back to how it was before. This is our new world going forward. So how can I shift and adjust my mindsets to say, this is what I'm going to be doing going forward, and this is how I'm going to change and adapt. Etzweiler is encouraging the community to shop locally this holiday season, as well as other days of the year to help put money back into the community. In Great Falls, I'm Joey Taylor, Montana, right now.